Hello and welcome to this short instructional video on one of the applications on my study bar. Um, ideally this video should be used in conjunction with some training that you should have received on my study bar and this is kind of more of a refresher and a whistle stop th tour through one of the programs. Um, if you haven't had the training then obviously you can use this just to give you an idea of how the program works. Um, the application we're going to be using today is this one here it's called Orato it's under the reading section so if you click on the reading section of my study bar and then move down to Orato and click on that uh, the program will open up so we'll just minimize my study bar for now so we can just look at Orato okay so um, we've got the main toolbar for the Orato application here and we've got various different options this first one is speak the second one here pause the third stop then we have options help and exit. The first thing we're going to do today is look at how to choose a voice for Orato. So we click on options and then here we have various options for voice. If you click on here it will give you any downloaded voices that you have on your computer. I'm going to choose Tetris Voice Jack. Uh, downloaded this from the um, Tetris Voices on JISC. If you just Google Tetris Voices, then you'll be able to find those and they're available for people to download for free in the UK. Um, you've got an option here to change the speed um, at which the voice reads the text back to you, and then below that, the volume at which the, uh, the program reads text back to you. Then you've got several other options here, so automatically start reading the clipboard, show text when reading, highlight each word when reading, and highlight each sentence when reading. Now, I would probably leave these ticked, but it's up to you. Maybe try out some of the different ones and see what you're happy with, or see what the student you're supporting is happy with. I think it's probably preferential to have highlight each word when reading as the option that you use, but some people might prefer to have the entire sentence highlighted, so that's also an option there. Down here we can choose the uh, the size of the font and the font color of the text when it is read back to you by the application. So here we have it as font Arial and we'll select that as bold as well and we'll have it read back to us um, in size 18 for now. So we'll click OK on there. If we wanted to change the background color of the uh, the text when it's being read to us we can do that through here and if you go on to define custom colors you can choose practically any color that you can think of but for now we're going to leave it on white so we again click OK and then once you're done with the options menu you just click close and the program is now ready to use so the way Orato works is that any text you highlight will be immediately read back to you when you copy it onto your computer's clipboard so I'm going to do that as a quick demonstration now I'm going to highlight this text and then you can either right click and press copy or you can highlight the text and just use the keyboard shortcut, shortcut control and C. Ron Shaw is the first college in Lancashire to receive the Dyslexia Friendly Award. The best thing you can do now is probably give the video a pause and give that a try yourself. Like I said it is very very straightforward to do just to show you again you copy the text that you want read and then you can either use the keyboard shortcut control C or you can right click and press copy. Ron Shaw is the first college in Lancashire to receive the Dyslexia Friendly Award. And it works just like that. If you want to read a longer piece of text you just copy it again and you do exactly the same thing. Congratulations to the Dyslexia Specialist team in study support who have worked so hard to achieve the highly prestigious British Dyslexia Association Dyslexia Friendly Accreditation card mark, which we will now display. Now you can see that I've paused that, and you can pause something uh, as it's reading at any time, and then you can see that this button has now become Resume. So if you press that again, on our stationary and publicity materials, the BDA quality mark is an external sign of approval of a dyslexia friendly organization conferred. And then you can press stop to stop it. And that put very, very simply is how Orato works. It's that straightforward. It's that simple. And I would, I would encourage anybody to give it a try. It's a very, very user friendly piece of a uh, piece of software. Um, as always, if you get stuck, you can come and find me in the staff room and ask me for help. But other than that, that's uh, just a very, very quick look at Orato. Um, I hope it's been useful. And let me know if uh, you do need any extra help with it. Thanks very much. Bye.